So we had over a thousand protesters today. We uh, coming out to say no to the theft of Palestinian land. We marched from the Teaneck Armory to Congregation Kesher Torah in Teaneck, a congregation that has chosen to disgrace uh, their own religious values by hosting these stolen land sales. Meanwhile, we had uh, heckler, uh, Zionist hecklers throwing bottles of water at us, chanting insults and obscenities. But we continued on. Uh, standing for human rights and against apartheid and for the Palestinian people's right to their homeland. We read statements from indigenous Lenape people talking about the dispossession of their own community from this land, Palestinian human rights activists. A rabbi came, uh, multiple rabbis came to say that this is in violation of Jewish law. An imam came to inform us that uh, his organization is investigating the illegality of these sales and will be bringing a case against these illegal sales that unfortunately our Teaneck Town Council uh, has members have condoned and encouraged. Our mayor is illegally blocking people who are writing to him with concerns about this issue, despite the fact that courts have ruled that public officials are not supposed to block people from their social media. Two of our council members, two racist Islamophobic council members, Hillary Goldberg and Mark Schwartz, came out to support the event. Mark Schwartz is also the publisher of the Jewish Link newspaper, which published a large uh, uh, piece in support in to publicize this event, despite the fact that he knows that Anthony Blinken has said that the West Bank settlements are illegal. The same council member, Mark Schwartz, just held an event sponsored by his paper about uh, a little over a week ago uh, featuring wine that is produced in settlements that Palestinians were just recently displaced from in 2017, the family lands of New Jersey community members. So unfortunately, we have racist, Islamophobic, anti-Arab, terrorist-supporting members of the Teaneck Town Council who do not support the right of our community to engage in free speech. Much of the community was shut down, so we had to march long distances because people were prevented from uh, driving up and freely assembling at the, at, the, at, the, at the shul. There's more being done by this town to protect the racist uh, settler agenda that is being pursued at these synagogues through their illegal land sales than to protect our right to free speech. But nevertheless, we marched with a thousand strong to the temple to make our case that Palestine is not for sale, that the Palestinian people have the right to their homeland, that we will not be intimidated by the Zionist terrorists who make death threats to community members of this community. People in Teaneck have had bags of feces dropped on their lawn for speaking in support of Palestine. Uh, children have received death threats from the Zionists, but we will not be intimidated in standing up for human rights and in opposing genocide. And so that's why people came out today to protest and to say that Palestine is not for sale.